Hey everybody, today we're making a sheet pan dinner. What's great about this is you only have one pan, cleanup is a cinch, everything goes in at the same time, and it's all done the same time. Now this is a smaller version, so I'm just going to make this for the wife and I, but there was plenty for two lunches after dinner. So for this I use two potatoes that I quarter and then slice in half. And then I get my handy dandy mixing bowl. Oh wait, today we're using a gallon Ziploc bag. One less thing to wash, because when we're done, we're throwing that in the trash. I'm telling you, that's a good thing about sheet pan dinners. Clean up. Now this is a Vidalia onion. It's a sweet onion, <clears throat> but you can use any kind of onion you want. It really doesn't matter. I just happen to have one of these. So I'm gonna take the tops and bottoms off, cut it in half, and then get that outer peel off. I'm going to section it and throw it in the bag. You could use totally use red onion, white onion, yellow onion. It don't matter. You just got to have onion because it's so good when it roasts. <laughs> Roasted vegetables are the bomb diggity. Here is a red pepper. You all ever cut your red peppers like this? I know when I was a kid, we used to cut the hollow out the, the top and then dig the seeds out. What a pain. When you cut it like this, everything is still there in one piece. No mess, no seeds everywhere. Throw it in the trash. Bam. Thanks for coming. So I'm just going to cut these into big old chunks as well. That's another good thing about this is it's not a lot of prep because everything's going to be in big chunks. If you cut anything really small, it's just going to get cooked to death and burn. Now we got some mushrooms. Again, use any mushroom you want. I'm using baby bellas because I like them. I'm just going to cut them in half. They're very beefy and so good. And they really do absorb flavors that you uh, present them with. You can't beat it. If you don't like mushrooms, then leave it out. That's how versatile this dish is too to make. Another thing is the protein. You can use any protein you want. But first, let's season this these veg up. So this is some olive oil. You can use regular oil too. It doesn't really matter. Olive oil has a higher smoke point, but you could use any canola or vegetable oil as well. Once I get about two tablespoons in there, I'm going to add my seasoning, which is very um, light. It's going to be a little onion powder, probably a half a teaspoon, and then probably um, close to a tablespoon of seasoned salt. This is Kinder's from Costco. It has a little butter flavor in there as well. Um, so now we're just going to give it a good rub, mix it all up, make sure the seasoning is all over. You can also add fresh herbs, anything you want. But back to protein. Today, I was at the store and I saw beer brats in the window case. So I got us four beer brats. Um, you could use pork sausages, you could use chicken, but it doesn't matter. You could use any kind of protein you want. Pork. So with these though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prick them a little bit. That way any of the fat inside will ooze out and help roast the vegetables and add flavor to the vegetables as well. And they won't explode. You don't want exploding sausages on your sheet pan blowing up in the oven. So I'm going to put these in here and I'm going to give them a little mix of do, a little rub down just to make sure that they also have some extra seasoning on them. Now, enter the sheet pan. And on top of this sheet pan, I'm gonna use nonstick, heavy duty aluminum foil. So hopefully by the end of this, nothing has torn or ripped. And when you pull that foil off, it's squeaky clean. I'm telling you, what's better than that? So once we get this all centered, and I like to get it all mashed up, because that's just who I am. Um, we're going to just dump that bag of goodies right on this sheet pan. Super easy. And then we can throw our mixing bowl away, a.k.a. gallon size Ziploc bag. Now, what you want to do here is just look, get it all out to one smooth layer. You don't want things piled on top of one another because you want everything to roast evenly. Once you got them in there, then we're gonna add beer. I figured why not? It's beer brats, let's add some beer. This is some Sam Adams Oktoberfest beer too. So it's that time of year. So you're not gonna do a whole beer. You're just gonna um, just dribble some here and there. It's probably about a half a cup of beer total. 
You could use white wine. You could use red wine. You could probably even do like cider. It just depends on your protein and how you want to do it. Now I baked this for 22 minutes at 400 degrees and it's not done yet, but you can see it's getting there. So what I want to do now is I want to stir everything around just to make sure everything is evenly cooked because you know, you're going to have hot spots. You're going to have cold spots, especially if uh, you're not using a convection oven and I'm not, I'm using a traditional gas oven. So once I get that, I decide, you know what? I want these um, sausages to brown better. So I'm going to move the sausages to the, to the outsides of the pan. That's what gets the hottest and that's what will cook the hardest. And I like to have good color on these sausages too. So I'm going to move those to the side and you can still see there's still a little bit of liquid in here. Some of that's beer, some of that's fat, some of that's oil. The other way, it's all flavor. That's all I can say about that. So I'm going to put this back in the oven at 400 degrees for another 24 minutes. And boo, yeah, here you go. Dinner's ready. Call in the family. So good. Everything's super tender. The sausages are great. The potatoes and onions and, and those um, mushrooms really did get the good flavor. I hope you try this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey, consider a thumbs up. Jimmy, Jimmy.